Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a figure from the Black Series 6 inch line and in keeping with the theme of my last review where we took a look at the Sith Jet Trooper from the Vintage Collection, today we're going to take a look at none other than this guy. This is of course the Sith Trooper and once again I am a huge fan of the design of these characters. I can't wait to see these troopers in action in the movie. I'm really excited to see just what kind of role they play in The Rise of Skywalker. And I think for me the biggest question is whether or not these troopers are loyal to the First Order or whether they answer to Emperor Palpatine or maybe even both, who knows. Hopefully we get all the answers to those questions in December but in the meantime we've got this really cool figure to hold us over. It's an absolutely fantastic one though not without its flaws and we'll touch base on those later on in the review. Before we do that, as always, let's take a look at the packaging that he comes in. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the past few months, you already know that there are about three or four different variations of this figure available. Firstly, there's the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which was released in that really fancy box with about three or four additional weapons. There's the Amazon exclusive carbonized version, which features a vac metalized finish on the armor. And then at general retail, you've got the uh, regular and first edition variations of the Sith Trooper figure. Now, luckily I was able to pick up the first edition. And all that essentially means is that there's been a slight packaging change in order to commemorate Triple Force Friday. And these figures will obviously uh, a more limited run as opposed to the regular black and red packaging design that we've seen multiple times before. Um, even though this is only a subtle change to the packaging, I'm all for it. I hope this becomes the norm. Um, I've been an advocate for a packaging change to the Black Series for quite some time. And even though this is only subtle, it's a minor change, it really works. And I absolutely love it. Um, I was lucky enough to find these figures in a brick and mortar store. And again, I'm a huge advocate of the thrill of the hunt. I love finding figures in the wild. And these first edition figures just really stand out on the shelves. Um, the, the figures inside them pop, you know, they just stand out, they look fantastic and it's just something nice and refreshing to see. So with regards to the rest of the design, it's pretty much the same. You've got the Black Series logo featured at the top and you will see just below that a call out for the first edition release. Down in the bottom corner you'll see a really nice image of the Sith Trooper, illustrated once again beautifully by Gregory Titus and once again that artwork really stands out on this white packaging as well. On the side of the box you've got number 92 in the Black Series 6 inch line and then on the reverse side you've got that image once again and a brief description of the character. So again only a subtle packaging change but nice enough to keep me happy. <laughs> so there we go that is the packaging for this figure. So with that aside, let's take a look at the figure itself and once again this guy is very very cool though he does have a few pros and cons. He's not altogether perfect and uh, I'll touch base on why that is later on. Um, before we do we'll touch base on articulation and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the figure. So right off the bat we do have what should be a ball joint at the head. You can see there is a little bit of movement up and down but for the most part it's just a swivel which is unfortunate. I'm not entirely sure whether this is just with my sample or whether this is across the board but there isn't as much posability in the head there as I would have expected or liked and that's a bit of a shame. You have butterfly joints in the shoulders so you can get some really nice poses out of this one. You know you, the, the shoulders of the figure are really lifelike in their posability and it, that really helps when it comes to holding the blaster. Um, if you think back to the Rebel Fleet Trooper if any of you guys picked up that figure then the joints in the elbows, in the shoulders rather, are very similar to those. What's really cool as well is that Hasbro have made the armour plates on the shoulders out of a soft plastic so that when you do raise the shoulder up the elbow pad moulds itself around the torso of the figure which is really nice and doesn't hinder any articulation. You also got hinges at the elbows which are really nice, non-restricted so again he can hold the blaster really nicely and you've also got hinges at the wrists as well. There's a ball joint at the torso, although it's very, very tight. And if you think back to my review on Luke Skywalker from the Trash Compactor from the Black Series 6 inch line, then it's got that same sort of tight clicking joint, which is a little bit concerning at first, but once you get this figure moving around, it's not too much of an issue. It just clicks for some bizarre reason. 
Also included are ball hinges at the hips, swivels at the upper thigh, double joints in the knees and hinges and rockers at the ankle. So again, premium articulation, pretty much what we've come to expect from the Black Series 6 inch line. It's just a shame that the head doesn't quite have as much posability as it probably should. With regards to the rest of the figure, he looks fantastic. The sculpt is absolutely on point. Hasbro have done a really nice job of capturing the really menacing, almost Bram Stoker's Dracula-like armour with all the grooves, ridges and just this really nice, bright, vibrant red colour scheme. The figure itself looks absolutely phenomenal. He looks really, really cool indeed. Um, one of my favourite aspects of these characters is the hybrid helmet, which is also almost a cross between a First Order Stormtrooper and a Phase 2 Clone Trooper, which really bridges the gap, in my opinion at least, between the prequel, original and sequel trilogies. In regards to accessories, he does come with two blaster rifles. You've got that brand new design, which was featured with the Sith Jet Trooper, although obviously this has been upscaled into the 6 inch line and features a lot more prominent detail, which looks really nice and the figure holds that very well indeed. And he does also come with what appears to be the slightly modified FD-11 First Order Stormtrooper rifle, which again features that familiar design towards the back of the weapon with the scope, the stock and the magazine, but the barrel itself is a little bit thicker, a bit more tubular in its design, and as someone pointed out in my last review, looks almost like one of the weapons that was included with some of those Force Awakens 3 and 3 quarter inch figures that we saw a few years ago, some of those builder weapon features that we got with those. Now unfortunately this blaster should be able to clip into the slot on the side of the figure's leg as we've seen with most other figures from the First Order. Unfortunately it's not a very tight fit. It just kind of sits in place and the slightest little nudge or tickle will send that blaster flying out of its holster which is a little bit of a shame. Unfortunately it just doesn't clip in as tightly as it should. So uh, again, if you're playing with this figure, if you're a kid and you've got this holstered in the side of the leg, you're moving this about and that, that blaster just goes flying, which is unfortunate. And the same can be said for the new rifle as well. That plugs into the side of the leg and just falls out straight away, which again, I'm not entirely sure whether that's my sample or whether that's something to do with, um, you know, a widespread issue. But uh, it's there nonetheless, which is unfortunate. And again, doesn't quite make this figure perfect, just knocks a few points in that respect. However the rest of the figure is really nice, I really hope that the camera is picking up some of those details, again due to the vibrancy of the colour on this one it kind of washes some of it out but once you get this figure in hand you'll really see what I mean. Now I am a little bit hesitant to pick up the carbonised exclusive from Amazon just because I can imagine the paint finish on that figure chipping whereas this one isn't too much of a problem. I think rather than being painted red, this figure's just been cast in a red plastic, and then the black highlights on the armour, such as the bodysuit, and obviously the details on the helmet and on the armour, they've been painted black, which is really nice. But overall, a fantastic figure. Again, very excited to see these guys in action during the Rise of Skywalker. We're only a couple of months away from the movie's release. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see how the Skywalker saga ends. And again, I'm really keen to see how these guys factor in to that film. But overall, a fantastic figure. Definitely one that I'd recommend picking up if you can overlook the minor flaws he comes with. He does look fantastic on a shelf and I am actually tempted to pick up a few more of these guys just to flank Kylo Ren as they do look very, very nice indeed. And the red highlights and the red colours on the armour really uh, complement the cracks in Kylo's helmet nicely. I've seen some really cool displays with those two figures. So that is going to do it for this review on the Sith Trooper from the Black Series 6-inch line. Once again, a very cool figure, but it does have a couple of flaws, so just be careful with those. If you do decide to add this one to your own collection and as always you can do so by the link in the video description. The link will take you to the regular release of the Sith Trooper. If you want to get your hands on the SDCC exclusive um, I'll be sure to update those links as and when it becomes available. 
So that's going to do it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll be back with some more very soon. Until then, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.